What's up my fellow fitness freaks and welcome to another nice stretching video. Today we're going to work on our hip mobility again um, and yeah a little bit on our leg flexibility as well. So let's come down here onto the mat right <sighs> on our backs. You can have your arms up here if you like or by your sides it doesn't really matter. What I want you to do to start with is to push your lower back into the mat and to tilt your hips up, right? Up. So if you put your hands here for a moment, you'll notice how your lower back is really pressing into the mat, right? You should be really crushing your fingers, not too much. <laughs> Take them out before they get crushed, right? But you know what I mean. So tilt the hips up and push that lower back into the mat. That's a, that's a good move like to, uh, yeah, to work on that hip tilt. And it's also a really good move to strengthen your lower back, right? And we always want to strengthen our lower back so we don't get problems with those uh, in, that, in that lumbar region. So a few more. And up. And up. Okay, now bring your feet together here, right? Together. And then let's just drop your legs out here and back in. And maybe you're this far out, maybe you're further out or all the way down to the mat, depending on your like hip flexibility. That depends on how much you can open up there. Don't worry about it, it's not so much, right? Bit by bit you're gonna get better. Flexibility always takes time. And out and in. <sighs> Keep breathing. And out and in. Let's stay out there on this next one, bringing the soles of your feet together here. Let gravity pull your knees down. You can even help a little bit by bouncing them out slightly, but only if it doesn't hurt. If you feel like anything hurts, you should stop or go back to the exercise that we did before, right? Because a certain kind of discomfort is totally normal, right? This is when we advance, we're feeling discomfort, but discomfort should not be um, um, oh, damn it, I don't remember the word. Like discomfort should not be pain, like it's a different, those are different things, right? You can be in pain and you can feel a certain kind of discomfort. You have to be able to tell the two apart, right? So no pain, no, no, no discomfort. Yeah, okay. A little bit of discomfort is totally okay. Uh, pulse out here few more and now back in bring those knees in hug your knees for a moment roll from side to side kind of massaging your back on the mat Whee. then knees a little bit back here hold on to the knees with your hands and Draw circles here. It doesn't matter what way you start because we're gonna switch it up in a second. Turn and turn. A few more. And the other way around. Now, and this is an external hip rotation. I think this is external. Is it internal? Well, it depends on where you start and where you end, right? Just turn it the other way. So now let's get into the happy baby pose. What we want to do here is you want to grab the outsides of our feet and like this, almost everyone should be able to get to that point. Um, and ideally, if you can, if you're more flexible, bring those feet up and the legs a bit to the side. And then we're here in that happy baby pose, right? On our backs, opening the hips. <sighs> Feels good, huh? Easy peasy today again, right? Last week we did an easy peasy stretching. Today again, it's gotta be a piece. Oh my God. It should be a piece of cake. Me talking, maybe not, right? <laughs> I'm tired already. I'm tired already. That's why I do this work out of this stretching video with you, right? Where I thought like, oh, I wanna, I wanna shoot a video for next week, but I don't wanna do something that's too hard. So I, I decided to go with a really nice uh, stretching and relaxing video. down with your feet. Your arms can be up here and then 
Drop those legs down from one side to the other, right? Down, and down. Nice. Now bring that up here, like in kind of a reverse tabletop position so that your knees are right over your hips. Your arms out here and then you let those legs drop down towards one side but that shoulder blade stays on the mat so this nice back twist and look the other way away from the from where your legs are pointing and as always you can hold every stretch as long as you like just pause the video and up up over over other side one side might feel tighter than the other totally normal Circle those wrists back to the middle and let's flip it around. I don't know, I, I don't care how you flip it around. I'm gonna do this, but it doesn't matter, right? We're gonna do the frog pose, the frog stretch. So we're here, we're starting maybe in a tabletop position. We wanna create a straight line, right? A straight line from knee to knee over those hips here. So those legs, they slide out 90 degree angle at the knees. You can come onto your forearms here as well. And then you slide out here, right? Until you're in a nice frog pose. Maybe that low, maybe lower. And then move back and forth slightly, right? Slightly back and forth. A few more times. I know this is harder again. This is a harder stretch for some people, but you don't have to go that low. And if you don't go that low, it's not that hard. Or you could even put a yoga block underneath your body here in front and rest your body on that yoga block. And then it's going to be easier. Now, if you want to rest that chest on the mat. And now if you wanted, want to, if you can, roll those feet up, right? The movement comes here out of the hip socket, right? And the shape of the leg is not changing. Roll it up, right here. Up. Up. And up. Legs in, or feet in. Onto your hands, hands more or less underneath your shoulders. And come up here and push back. Back and forth. Good job, good job. We're almost done, right? We started super easy. Now this is a little bit harder, I know. But anyway. Walk your hands further in if you can. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Ah, bring those legs in and let's come into a child's pose. Nice, nice. And that was already, that, that was already it, that it was already, that was already it. Oh my god, like, <laughs> blood to brain please, so that it works, so that I can talk. No, anyway, this was the nice short stretching video for the hips. Not too hard, although I know the last part was a bit harder, but we started off really easy. So, um, yeah, work on that hip flexibility so that you get your pancake one day, right? The pancake is a stretch. I'm just gonna show you, right? You don't have to do that. So we have the pancake here. The pancake stretch is kind of like a middle split, but it's not a middle split, as you can see, right? It's not completely open. And then you wanna rest your torso here on the mat, right? This is something that you can work on with that uh, frog stretch. Ba -ba -da -de -da. Right, so you know what you're working for here. So thank you so much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Woo! Bye-bye.